Welcome back and this is still the press on Kaftan Television. We are reaching you live from the nation's capital, Abuja, where right now I've been joined by a guest in the studio to analyze some of the headlines that have made it to our national dailies this morning. And joining me in the studio is Engineer Toba Owojaye, who is a public affair analyst. Engineer, you're highly welcome. Thank you very much. Glad to have you join us in the studio this Glad morning. Glad to have you <laughs> to be here myself. Well, also a reminder that our phone lines are now open for you to call in to give in your contribution or join the conversation. Let me begin by asking. This uh, Bobriski saga has been making... Uh, trend on social media and of course on our national readings om almost all the paper has it this morning this bob risky saga and i was one of the persons that asked when uh, he was released whether a he or she he she let me hmm. let me say because we don't even know which to refer him as a he she when he he she came out from the prison i was like ah, what he added so much weight he was looking all good i was like what's happening is there uh, did he go to a special prison or something as much as we've heard that uh, some of the uh, uh, prison officials has been suspended, what is your take on this whole saga between the Bobriski and the, uh, the prison officials? Yeah, it's, it's a whole mess. Um, it's, it's been a long time coming because we have petted some of these uh, things. There's no law upon which to hold Bobriski, which will have been what they will have done. There's mm -hmm. no law against cross-dressing in Nigeria. There's a law against homosexuality, there's a law against lesbianism, but there's no law against cross-dressing. Mm. So when um, Babuski began to push cross-dressing and more cross-dressers became a business, okay. um, the government and whoever didn't know how to handle the situation because without laws, mm. there's not a way to really handle it. And it, the, the whole mess blew up when he got voted as best dressed Female, female best dressed female best dressed to a, a um a, i think it was a family. premiere of a yes. a movie so you see the women felt like oh so you a man have cross-dressed we have allowed it now you're not the best dressed female, female. are you a female mm. so these are the issues that in my own understanding of politics what the background of me because two three days after that he was arrested mm. there was from what was uh, is now in the open um, news. Mm. There was a money laundry charge Again. tied to the spraying of money because I was wondering why would you pick him for spraying of money when people spray money virtually everywhere. Mm. Many we still have many politicians who we have the videos where they sprayed money. Mm. So we knew that there was something off. This was a weak charge, mm. but the charge still held and it went for six months. But from the audio that came out from Very Dark Man, he paid 15 million no. for them to drop the money laundry on the charges now we are very proud of very dark man for bringing it up you see we cannot forever sweep dead bodies under the, the carpet carpets and wonder why the house is smelling mm. yes we have many carcasses under the carpet this is too big to sweep under mm. how can a person who was sent to jail be in a private apartment close to the jail <laughs> that's that's a slap on the chilling them. yes that's what i'm saying it's a, it's, a, it's a slap on the whole whole judicial process it's a slap on nigeria no matter how big you are in america you will go to jail if trump misbehaves today he will go to jail matter Stewart has gone to jail r kelly is in jail you're not bigger than the system if you as much as drunk drive you will be arrested no matter who you are mm. till we raise the laws and keep the laws above every individual we have a problem if there's a godfather you can call mm. and be sentenced to jail and you will not go to jail then nigeria is a joke <laughs> but let me let me say uh, uh, related to the uh, Bob Bruski, we, we've seen this played out with the EFCC even before the case of uh, Yahya Bello, which I will definitely get there. But what is the expectation with this case, with this ongoing saga of Bob Bruski and the prison officials? Because we've seen so many things like this happen. We've seen ex governors, uh, we saw that of a uh, former governor of uh, Kaduna State. Verify. We have seen cases like that, and at the end of the day, it just it comes up like a, f a flame of fire. It just do boom, and before you know, it goes off. It's being swept under the carpet. So, what is your expectation with this Bobriski saga and the prison officials? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that already heads are rolling. Heads should roll in the prison. Heads should roll in EFCC. Um, people have said. Um, I know Falana and Faust will get a 
a dent on their image, mm. but they are a law firm. They have the right to represent anybody who comes to them for help. Mm. And they have the right to charge a fee. These are matters that, that within the legal jurisprudence mm. can take place. They have the right to represent any Nigerian. Mm. They have the right to charge a fee. But people are looking at it as, oh, so this is the kind of clients and the kind of situation in which you're trying to get somebody who is staying in a private apartment, apartment. instead of jail. You're trying to help him reduce his sentence from six months to less. So uh, we are happy that they are getting the bashing that they deserve. Mm. Um, but this case so far has not been swept under the rug. We've seen a, a fast. Um, they have summoned both of them. To come and say what they know about it he would of course he would have to lawyer up mm -hmm. deny the audio now when you deny the audio now then they now have to see do we have the technology to prove that that was brobriski mm -hmm. in that audio because he was not there live mm -hmm. so these are the issues see law is very weak law is very weak in itself because it's a burden of evidence that must be proved beyond doubt how do you know with AI generated age mm. that that voice is broadly beyond the shadow of a doubt? Mm. This is where the law is a bit weak, and he may escape. Okay, let's talk about that. Of our le let's talk about still related uh, cases uh, to this of Bobrisky saga, and um, that is the Yahaya Bello saga and the EFCC. I think it was just about uh, in less than forty eight hours or two days ago or yesterday. EFCC has come up against uh, uh has come up against Yaya Bello with a fresh charge of one hundred and something billion naira. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw this when it started happening, the whole drama, EFCC driving down to wherever to pick um Yaya Bello up to now. We have not had anything concrete from that end. And now the EFCC are coming up with uh, another charges against him. Mm -hmm. And then the, the question is what happens to the first what is going on between uh, the federal government, the EFCC, and the ex governor of uh, Kogi State, Yaya Bello. What is wrong with the whole setting is what is wrong with Nigeria. Women in Kogi State went to protest that EFCC is disturbing Yaya Bello. The House of Assembly in Kogi State has told EFCC to back off Yaya Bello. The governor of Kogi State went along with Yaya Bello. We are, we are killing Nigeria at the expense of our personal tribes our personal interest Interest. and the country is dying and we're complaining every day that the country is dying but everybody is biting a piece of the country while the country is going down and we're it's like floating on ice mm. and everybody is cutting one piece of the ice and the ice is getting smaller and we're complaining that the ice is getting smaller but everybody is cutting a piece mm. if i was the efc first of all his first mistake was allowing him to be recorded where he said in that audio in that meeting mm. that he will ensure if he doesn't uh, arrest Ya Bello, he will resign. Mm. He, that statement is not professional. It's not professional. Yes, because there's nothing personal between him and Ya Bello. He needs to remain professional. Uh, how is he supposed to remain professional? He's trying to like beat his chest that this is his office and he's going to do what is needed of him. He has not proved him guilty. He's not the court. He sh he's an arbiter. He's a traffic warder. He has not proved him guilty, which is why he invited him for questioning. You didn't go to arrest him. You are inviting him for questioning. So you are, you are not the court to prove whether he's guilty or not. Mm. Your work is to take all the evidence you have, get the best lawyers you have, and indict him until you see it through that he's jailed. That's your work. Your work is not that you must go to jail. No. There's no Nigerian that must go to jail. I'm showing you where his lapses were. Okay. So immediately he made it personal. They now have to upon that. And then he has had to now backtrack from any statement. And then do what he should have done. I'm in issue. But if God is my witness. If I was the EFCC chairman. And Yadolo came to my place. Much majestically to my um, office. With a governor, even if it comes with Tinubu and 36 governors and 109 senators and 360 hours of rep, I will detain him. As far as he came into EFCC, hold him. Whoever he came with should sleep with him. See, we, we are killing this country. 
So you, he came to your place with his governor, and then you let him go that this is not how you invited him. You want him to, he cannot come in grand style. Mm -hmm. You have to. Oh, he has come, he has come. He has come, exactly. That's not we are not in grand style. If you like, he comes later, he comes with, with, with um, herbalist. Hold him and do what you need to do. We are killing this country. People are dying every day. And we are, we are, we are playing game with all, all of this. This is rubbish. Hold him. Let the governor sleep with him too. You say that a man is hiding in the governor's house. The governor has immunity. But the government's house doesn't have immunity. Mm. I don't understand. Did Obedo swallow Belo? If you have sw swallowed him, I will understand that you cannot exhume the governor and remove him. He didn't swallow him. He came with him. You disconnect their hands. Sir, wait here. We need to question him here. Simple. Once you carry him, he's not going. But let me uh, let me ask you something. It is no news that Nigerian system of government is so corrupt, very very corrupt that uh, we are beginning to ask if uh, we are beginning to ask if this country will ever get out of corruption. We've seen cases like this. Like I earlier mentioned that of uh, the former governor of Kaduna State. We've we've seen cases like this come, and at the end of the day, we did not see an end to it. What do you think should be done in Nigerian government to eradicate corruption? And again, do you even think this corruption can be eradicated in Nigerian system of government? There's corruption everywhere in the world. But what happens in those places is that they have strong institutions. Okay. Well, you're saying that we institutions don't have which? institutions. Not that we don't have strong institutions. We don't have institutions. At all. We don't have We don't have, we don't have institutions. institutions. If you have an institution and an institution like EFCC invites you, even the people that follow you will be ashamed to follow you. Mm. R. Kelly is in prison. I, I, I want this thing to sound well for us to understand. Mm. No matter who, how big he is, Puff Daddy was picked up last week. He's gone. Why did all his um, celebrity fans follow him there? This is, this is what we are saying. We are, we That's a celebrity. That's a celebrity of this is Nigerian system. Or there, they seem to be, not they seem to be, there is a cackles, there is a force, there are cackles behind, uh, what is it called? Where that is why we are still talking of persons. I came from the Edo election. I've never seen a, a more stainless steel, clean rigging in all my political life. And I've observed over 16 elections. Hmm. But I don't want to go, go there because that's not why we're here. Mm. But what I'm saying is that the amount of cash, the amount of, of uh, um, vote swapping, mm. which was not done at the words, which was not done at the first collation center, which was done at the final collation, in which there's no place you can prove it. We are, see, while we are winning in politics, we are losing in governance. Okay. We are doing very well in politics, in being politically smart, to maneuver, maneuver the system, yes. but we are losing in governance. As far as if your abelo is guilty, I don't know if he's guilty, okay? Because I am not the one that investigated. investigated him. If he's guilty and we cannot prove it, despite all the evidences we are seeing, then we are telling every other governor that you will get away with, with it. it. Exactly. And once you just put your own man at any cost as the next governor, you will get away with it. This cannot go on. We cannot be praying for Nigeria and having this. If he has a problem, let him go. If he's my brother and I am EFCC chairman, I will lock him. Mm. I swear to God I will lock him. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, dive into a, a bit of this Edo election. I have a headline here that says... INEC presents certificate of return to Kublu and um, deputy. And uh, I knew I was here during the Edo election. We had our reporters go there to uh, 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 observe and cover the election. And we saw what played out in the Edo governorship election. A lot of our uh, Edo people are not happy with the outcome of the results. Why the all position party, which is the People Democratic Party, the PDP, has come out to... Uh, 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 ha, uh, 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 they have obliged INEC to do a thorough, uh, um, a thorough, to do a thorough investigation on the just concluded election. We are saying that some votes, the the number of votes recorded in the I IREF is different mm. from what is being uploaded in the N or uh, is it NC NACAC or Forms, yes. form. So this is it. This <laughs> election seem not to have played out fair and free. But certificate has been given. The gov uh, the president has congratulated the the announced uh, candidates. 
<laughs> and you are saying that uh, it, you went there, you observed it, it was a total rig of election. And this is not the first time things like this is happening. And that still boils into the corruption. And you just said it that now Nigerians are being very smart when it comes to politics, but losing let's the governments. But <laughs> before that, let's quickly hear from uh, this caller. Hello, good morning. Good morning. This is Engineer Ayo from Mogu State. Engineer Ayo from Mogu State. Good morning. and glad to have you join us. What's your contribution? Yeah. Um, it's concerning this uh, state uh, election. Okay. Well, uh, you see, um, there have, uh, there have never been a uh, worse election than than the one of this uh, state. Mm. You know, the, the the people really know who they voted for. Mm. So it's just so unfortunate that um, at the last end, it didn't just turn around like that and favor one party and one candidate. Mm. You see, um, I, will, I will commend uh, Buhari for this. He never allowed any governor or any state to use the federal power on, on any nation at the state level. Mm. But, but it's just so unfortunate that um, the, the, the people at the top now, the, the APC, the, the president, president, he has even congratulated the 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 the, the, the supposed the false uh, 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 of of governors mm. because it is it's plain that the election was rigged. Mm. So I, I you can you can't just because you have you have your party as the federal and you have you just be using the federal might on, on on the people. The people are so hungry, president. Mm. You know, I was in I was in I was in those states. I I saw how people are so hungry, and mm. the same thing happened in in the most states. If you remember the case of this uh, uh, oh mm. right? The, 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 what, what is really happening in in, in, in most states is because the, the force hope on the people. The hope was not elected. Mm. Even the second term election, it was not elected. It was forced on the people, and that is why we have this insecurity. Everything just happening in 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 Edo State, and 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 and, and, and same thing be happening in Edo State. Just All right. Okay. So, like just said, the, the worst election ever in, in, in the history of uh, state election is, is this what happened in Edo State recently. All right. Thank, thank you, you very much for your contribution. And have yourself a wonderful day. Before yeah. you take that question, thank Engineer, thank let's uh, see what this person have got to say. Hello, a very good morning. Hello, good morning. Well, glad to have you join us on the press. Your name and where you're calling us from. And please, you have just 60 seconds. Okay, my name is Kombo, I don't know really I'm Uchechuku, calling from uh, Atlanta 1, Mbappe in Abuja. Alright, oh, please go ahead, Uchechuku. Okay, yeah, I strongly believe on your guest. He said, he made some points. He said, you are smart to win a nation, but you are not smart enough. Well, when it comes to leadership, the difference is like number one. Mm. He said again that Nigeria do not have two institutions, and two true that Nigeria do not have institutions anymore. Mm. We have completely eliminated all the institutions of corruption. Mm. Thank, thank you very, very much for your contribution. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you very much. And you too. Thank you very much for calling. Now, engineer, what I'm trying to run, uh, what I'm trying to wrap at is, okay, the other people are not happy with the election, but be it as it may, he has been given certificate of return. And some persons now are of the opinion that if the governor elect is unable to express himself. What do you think is the fate of other people? Yeah, uh, let's start from the fact that as far as INEC has declared him. Mm. Legally, INEC must give him a certificate of return. Mm. It's now left for PDP to prove their case in court. <laughs> I've, 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 we've seen cases like Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. But, but this is the law. Okay. This is the law. You see, like I said, if we had strengthened institutions, then there's nothing to even worry about. Mm. But we have not done that. If we have strengthened institutions, people will not even rig election. Mm. Do you know why you would rig election? Mm. Because if you are as an INEC official <coughs> you are giving <coughs> 50 million mm. and at the end of the day you know that if even if they may not win in court okay. and even if they win in court 
you will, there's no repercussion that mm. comes to you. Mm. So you, you see gain, 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 and no loss. There's, okay. The risk is low. Mm. But what if you are an INEC official, I know that if you read this election, it will be upturned in court. Mm. It is on top in court. You will go to jail for 24 years. When you see that, you would, even if you don't even have good character, you see, we are banking on good character. If you have institutions, you don't need to bank on good ca character. Mm. The because institution will force the person to have, to act rightly. Right, yes. We don't have institutions. This is what we are saying. Whether you are an atheist or you are a Christian or whatever, if an institution is strong, whether you are gay or anything, an institution is strong enough to make you do what is right. Mm. Because if you don't do what is right, you will, f you know, you will face the repercussion. Mm. Till we get to that point, yes, I know did what they did. They announced him. He has to be congratulated by the president, even if it was PDP or APC or Labour Party. As far as Anek has congratulated, given him Sister. a verdict, he will be given a certificate. Mm. It's now the work of PDP to prove themselves in court. Now, so that you don't look like I am killing APC completely. Mm. Obasaki, in my opinion, was the best performing governor, governor in terms of governance. But he was the worst performing governor in terms of politics. Let mm. me make the difference. Okay. In governance, he was able to deliver the most good to a those states okay. as a whole. Mm. But in politics, he clashed with his deputy governor. Yes. He clashed with the people that gave him tickets from APC into PDP, Dan Obi and others. He clashed with um, Ojezwa, the chairman that was on ground, mm. uh, that brought him in. He clashed with a lot of people he didn't have a good relationship with the Oba of B B Benin. Mm. That problem was not resolved. Mm. So, in and then he lost a lot of key people who would have worked for him. Ehiama, twice House of Red, who was from the same local government with him. Mm. He couldn't manage that relationship well. So, in terms of governance, he did wonderfully well. Okay. In terms of politics, he did horribly. So, he had a lot of people against him who are not against Aswe, mm. but they were against Obasaki. But because of Obasaki, we must fail you. So that was why we saw some of this play out. Not everybody is sad in Edo State. Don't let people lie, that, mm. lie to you. Mm. Edo North was, was largely, he knew he wouldn't win um, Edo North. Mm. PDP knew they wouldn't win Edo North. Mm. But they were banking on Edo Central and Edo South. All right. So if you hear that PDP was, of course, I believe there was overvoting mm. in Edo North to push their votes up. Votes, yeah. But do you, if you ask me 100 times, do I, which party I believe won Edo North, I will tell you APC won Edo North. All right. Oh, before oh, we take the next question, let's quickly hear from the scholar. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, good morning sir. Good morning. Glad to have you join us. Your name and where you're calling us from? Yes, my name is uh, Rufus. Oh, Rufus, please go ahead with your thoughts. You see, there is no, there is no court in Nigeria. Don't deceive yourself. We mm. have court. Mm. We don't have court in Nigeria. Don't deceive yourself. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for that simple answer. I, I will answer that, but let's <laughs> let's. Hello, very good morning. Hello, good morning. Can you hear me? Hello, good morning. Oh, good morning. Glad to have you join us on the press this morning. Your name and where you're calling us from. Oh, I'm uh, so sorry about that. You might have to call us back. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Oh, good morning, morning. Have you join us. Good morning. Yeah, I'm Mr. Gideon calling from Lagos. Gideon from Lagos. Please go ahead with your thoughts. Due to governance in Nigeria, mm. we have not been able to realize that governance in, 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 in a state or in the country mm. is, is far from your personal interest tying in government. Mm. See, I'm, I'm even happy that Governor Basteki lose the election, mm. whether he or no rig election. If they try to rig it, I'm even praying that APC should rig the election. Mm. Because there's nothing Obasaki did in that thing. Mm. See, government is about continuity. Obasaki cannot show anything in place. Mm. I think security most of the uh, uh, I don't know who that 
Oh, please round up with your thoughts. If you see most of the road, it's gone. Mm. Not to show. From beneath to out, it's gone. Mm. Not to show to write about. Why is not why, why it not clear that he lose the election? Oh. All right. This uh, company is just trying to spend nine strength. Mm. And people happy there's a change of party in the state. Most of the state, there should be always, always change of party. We will know the level of corruption. All right. In that state. Thank you very yeah, much for your contribution. You will see you are by time leave that office. All right, at this point, we we'll have to let you go so that yeah. uh, we can uh, uh, continue with the conversation. Engineer, what uh, do you say? <laughs> you just heard our last caller say, Governor Baseka did not work. He did, he did not see Why are you on the other side? You're saying that he was the best when it comes to uh, governance, but was horrible when it comes to politics. So Yes, let, let, let me explain. I'm, I'm I understand how people can see him as one of the worst governors because people, there's a way the masses think, mm. there's a way the elites think, and wealth is by the elites. Mm. Are, you, are you seeing that? Or can no, I no, go on? No, go on? Okay, so um, wealth is by the elite. What they expect, what most people expect a governor to do mm. is roads, um, um, water, electricity. Which is basics. Mm. And Oshumale, his predecessor, had done that. Okay. So there was need to upgrade Edo State itself. From where uh, his predecessor stopped. Yes. No, I even as say a whole. Mm. Edo State is one of the only states that has a functional modular refinery. Okay. Nigeria has only like five modular or four modular refineries. Edo State has one. Mm. Edo State is one of the only states that has an independent power company producing pa power but it's not enough to cover the whole state is a new company Edo state has where indomin is working Edo state is the largest producer of palm oil mm. Edo state is one of the only seven states that is economically viable mm. that will sustain itself if it doesn't get federal location it was not there before him mm. obaseki built a system obaseki moved the state to a paperless administration. Now the masses can't see that. Mm. What the masses want to see is borehole, mm -hmm. road, <laughs> light. That that's what they want to see. But like you rightly said, they are the basics. That's what I'm saying. But when you there's no government that will do everything. Okay. Eh? No government can do everything. Mm. Your predecessor does some things. You will make some promises. You will do those things. Obasaki built. Healthcare, mm -hmm. healthcare insurance, build a system mm -hmm. that any other government can come has a system to work on. But like I said, these things are not obvious to the masses. I can send you a video if it's you people's priority to play it. I can show you over 400 different projects that Obasaki did and did wonderfully. That those of us who understand world creation mm -hmm. knew where he was going. Mm -hmm. Yes, world creation. All right, engineer, we're out of time. And for the sake of that, I, I, this discussion started on uh, our institution based on what is happening, uh, the Bobriski saga, the EFCC. And you said, I, like, I liked one thing that you said in the beginning of the program. You said, we don't have an institution. So what do you think should be done in that aspect? In just two seconds, because we're out of time. We're out of time. Uh, institutions have to be built. It has to be the president, the presidency, mm. the, the legislative, and the ju judiciary have to know their bounds and stick to their bounds. Mm -hmm. One of the only people who respected the rule of law in this country was Yaradwa. Mm. You push something to him, he will say, wait for the courts. Okay. And he's not pushing them to take a decision. Any decision they take, he works by it. Mm. Till we can allow, and till institutions are strong enough mm. that they can stand on their own, make a decision, and it is binding on the country and all mm. as fair and just. See, we can see transparency. Where did the, I, we can't do, continue running from it? Where did a uh, uh, um, uh, election fail? Voting went smoothly. Collation at world level went smoothly. Mm. It was at final collation center mm. that no, I was media. 
No media was allowed inside. Mm. No PDP agent was allowed inside. Mm. It was at that place there was a swap of everything that went on. Mm. Once we do not have a system that can run all smoothly, from beginning to end, we are going to have a problem. All right, sir. Thank you very much, Engineer, for joining me in the studio this morning. We Thanks really for having do me. do appreciate your presence. And at this point, I will come to the end of the program on today's uh, segment. Uh, keep watching Captain Television. And uh, like we always advise you from this end, continue to be a patriotic Nigerian. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I am Missy Emily. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. <laughs>